Alright, now that you got this nice looking title here, you're going to go to Type and Create Outlines. This will create all the masks that, masks that you will need. So now if you copy that, you can minimize Illustrator and now you are onto the After Effects part. Now before we start here, um, there's one important saying that you want to set. So go to Edit preferences and user interface colors now this option here cycle mask colors select that so it's checked what this will do is all the masks that you have just created in illustrator uh, will be different colors which will make your life a whole lot easier now uh, import a suitable background uh, I just used this picture that I made in uh, Photoshop, just a simple radial gradient. And I'm just going to size it up here because last time I used it, it didn't look that great because it was too small. Just make this oh, too big. That's uh, too big. Alright, that looks pretty good. So you can see it kind of fading out the corners. Uh, now what you want to do is go to layer and create a new solid. And for the color you want kind of an orange. I use a kind of orangey brown. You can use any color. But this color looks pretty cool. This color scheme I've discovered. So that's why. Now that you've got the solid and the background you can your text in and you can just make it bigger to serve your serve your needs alright so we got this nice text here on the background in that nice color now uh, turn the masks on if you if they're not on already and you'll see they all have different colored masks now if you switch it off for a second you will see that where they connect there's a gap and you don't want that so what we're going to do is open up these arrows so you get the, all the different masks now turn the masking thing back on and look for the color so let's mask 6 and you're going to change the mode to difference to add now if you look, it connects nicely. So now just do that for all of them. Switching the mask on and on. Alright, that looks pretty good. Uh, not that hard. So we've all our things connected so now we can add the stroke effect so go to generate and stroke now for the color just use a little eyedropper and select the brown uh, size it down a little bit and check all mask and make sure stroke sequentially is checked as well now just make this down so it doesn't look that bad and for the paint style use on transparent Gotta make that a little bigger so 1.7 looks pretty good maybe a little less try 1.5 yeah that looks pretty good Alright, so you got this. So if you can scrub through here, it'll. Uh, oops. Oh, oops, I forgot to animate it. Alright, so on the first frame, go to end 
and put it all the way down to 0% and create the uh, click the stopwatch to create keyframes. Now move up to about 315 here and put it all the way back to 100. Now if you scroll through here we'll create a quick brand preview. You can see it draws itself on your screen. Alright, we'll stop that. Okay, so now you're... Okay, so now what we're going to do is take this solid... I'm going to rename it real quick. So I'm going to name this original. You'll see why later. And we're going to change this mode to add. So now if you look, it kind of glows itself onto the screen. So it looks pretty cool there. Now what we're going to do is duplicate using the shortcut Control or Apple D. You're going to duplicate it three times. Uh, for the top one, just keep it as original. For the second one, this one we're going to call color, and for this one we're going to call fill. Now for these two, we're going to change the mode to color burn. Now if you look here, now it creates that nice orangey kind of glow to it. Now for, so... Now for these first two, you're almost completely done. Now we just need to edit the fill. So for fill, we're going to kind of look through here to see what we're doing. We're going to do change the paint style to reveal original image. And we're just going to put this up so we can see the outline. So now if we look through... Now we got our letters here. Now, so now this looks pretty good. Um, now for the last part, we're gonna take the color and slide it back um, a bit. And then we're gonna take fill and slide it back about the same, about twice the same amount. This creates this nice alternating effect so you can see all three layers kind of streaming through here so it gets written on like three times so show you that real quick so that looks pretty nice um that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, trying to think of anything else you might need to know. Um, uh, something you should probably know is I've noticed that you always want to use a darker color over a lighter color. So, like, you wouldn't be able to use white on black because for some reason that just doesn't work. Um, not sh really sure why it just doesn't work. So, all right, there you go. Uh, hope this tutorial helps you out. Uh, this is Dayton from Ford Inspiration. Uh, sign off. I'm not going to be a man, 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 I'm not going to